All right, it's something we're all hearing a lot about right now as we talk about solutions for ending police brutality, defunding the police. It's not a new idea, but it is new to a lot of people just learning about it. So what does it mean? The answer really depends on who you ask. On one end of the spectrum, there are some who say defunding the police means stripping away police funding and disbanding it altogether. MPD 150, a community advocacy organization in Minneapolis, for instance, is working to move to a police-free future. But that is just one end of the spectrum. For many, defunding the police is not not about abolishing police departments, but rather about divesting from police departments and then investing that money into other community services. In Time Magazine, Patrice Cullors, a co-founder of Black Lives Matter, said police should not be in charge of mental health crises. They should not be in charge of dealing with homelessness. They should not be in charge of supporting people with drug dependency and addiction. Those are three line items which we can cut out of the police budget then put back into health care. And that brings us to city budgets. According to a report from the Center for Popular Democracy, police spending vastly outpaces expenditures in community resources and services. They say in Oakland, 41% of the general fund expenditures in the 2017 fiscal year was spent on policing, the highest percentage of all the cities they studied. And for every dollar spent on OPD, the Human Services Department received 29 cents, Workforce Development received two cents. So the idea of defunding the police is about decreasing or closing that gap. Now those against this idea say an underfunded police department will only make cities more dangerous and reforms that much harder. It costs money to train, hire, and develop good leaders. But those forward say it's about reimagining public safety. And PD150 says by shifting money away from the police and towards services that actually meet those needs, we'll be able to get to a place where people won't need to rob banks. And that's broadly what activists mean when they say defund the police.